His agony in Gethsemane and on the cross was greater than any mortal could bear. It is poignantly symbolic that blood came from every pore as Jesus suffered in Gethsemane, the place of the olive press. To produce olive oil in the Savior's time, olives were first crushed by rolling a large stone over them. The resulting mash was placed in soft, loosely woven baskets, which were piled one upon another. Their weight expressed the first and finest oil. Then added stress was applied by placing a large beam or log on top of the stacked baskets, producing more oil. Finally, to draw out the very last drops, the beam was weighted with stones on one end to create the maximum crushing pressure. And yes, the oil is blood red as it first flows out. I think of Matthew's account of the Savior as he entered Gethsemane that fateful night, that he began to be sorrowful and very heavy. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Then, as I imagine, the distress grew more severe. He pled a second time for relief. And finally, perhaps at the peak of his suffering, a third time. He endured the agony until justice was satisfied to the very last drop. This he did to redeem you and me.